today we are making a video on rtx uh, version is a uh, 23.05 which is 2023.05.01 so here is the boot menu of uh, rtx linux so let me quickly boot it in a uh, live boot it's going to take a maximum of uh, one minute to load up the desktop layout or minimum like a 30 to 40 seconds it completely depends on the linux distro so again i forgot to mention that i will be posting two videos daily without missing any day so i already posted a video on the youtube so this is the another video so if you want to check that out other for other video uh, watch this video completely and go to the other video so i forgot to mention that i'm using it on a virtualization which is a vmware with a 80 gb of a hard disk and 4 gb of ram with a two processors running right now so there is a tip from me it's always uh, if you download a latest uh, linux distro uh, or the latest version of the linux distro always boot it in a live boot first then go with the installation always boot it in a live boot first and if you don't find any bugs uh, go with the installation if you find any bugs or errors it's always a better option to uh, delete the uh, live boot and uh, download the stable version so here is the desktop layout completely loaded so this is the rtx linux so let me change the display resolution because it looks pretty odd this is the latest version which is 2023.05.01 uh, so let's first change the display resolution if it's uh, available so there is no uh, monitor settings available so let's uh, keep this resolution you can type in in the terminal and change the resolution but uh, i don't want to let's uh, keep this resolution and uh, let's open the task manager first so we should be seeing our task manager and let's check out how much resources are consuming and here is the cpu which is around uh, uh, below 10 percent or 15 percent and the ram is almost a 343 mb of a 4 gb of ram so these are all the processes running right now let's click on more details so it's a lightweight linux distro it's uh, clearly depends on you to use it or not so the lx task is a 0.1.10 so let's open the uh, terminal to get some of the information let's check out the version of the terminal which is a 0.4.0 let's type in the command which is uh, neofetch if it's uh, pre-installed here is the neofetch information let's type in another command which is uh, inxi sv8 this is the command which will grab complete distro information so let's change the color if it's available this is the font size let's change the solarized dark I think you are seeing it properly let's uh, try to change the another one let's uh, solarize light so let's go on the top and check the version a uh, system under system uh, it's a host is a rtx live because we are running it on a live boot and this is the kernel version and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler version is here gcc 12.2.1 and wm is a uh, open box version 3.6.1 vt7 and it's a lxde desktop environment and its version is a 0.10.1 light dm version is a 1.32.0 and a distro is rtx linux and it's based on a arch linux so this is a bios phenox version and here is the ram consumption and the available ram so this is the cpu information if you want to see that cpu information you can pause the video so it's a vmware and display is a x11 server is a xorge uh, 1.21.1.8 so here are the available resolutions you can change the display resolution by typing in command even i can change the command uh, type in command and change the resolution because i don't want to so i'm going to keep it like that and jack version is a 1.9.22 pulse audio version is a 16.1 so there are some of the information you can go through all this information and 80 gb of hard disk i already mentioned that i'm using a 80 gb of hard disk for my vmware so let's scroll it down and get some of the other information process running right now at 272 uptime is at 2 minute init version is a open rc version 0.46 so inxi version is a 
so let's type in another command uh, shell bash version is a 5.1.16 so let's type in another command which will give the same information as the above but in a short form for example let's type in inxi again you can see there is the same information let's type in inxi dash small b so let's type in another command which is inxi dash capital g so let's type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue and hit enter here is the information uh, username and password is artex so let's type in head stop if it's available head stop is not available let's uh, exit this thing so let's go to the pre-installed apps so these are all the pre-installed apps available uh, for the artex linux so let's go to the install artex let's uh, check out the installer so the calamaris installer is a 3.2.61 for artex linux rolling it's a rolling release so this is the again same customization or the installation type of uh, the artex and it will be same in every linux distro so the, there is no complicated thing in installation first you need to choose the language there are plenty of languages available i'm going to choose american english click on next and you should be seeing your location i'm using a vpn so it's showing singapore uh, you can just quickly type or uh, click on the location uh, if you know uh, the maps if you don't know like that you can go with the drop down menu and choose the locations here there is also available option here you can customize some of the options here so these are the available options after choosing the location you don't need to provide your actual location you can provide anything like that click on next and here is the keyboard you can choose your keyboard if it's uh, not available you can see all these options or you can type in here i am going to choose english united states and the default for the keyboard click on next again here is a partition and you should be careful while choosing the partition because it's going to delete everything in your hard disk or the installation destination media so be careful while doing and you need to choose your hard disk right here don't forget to show, see this thing if you forget it's going to completely delete so always choose your first uh, hard disk go with the options which are rs disk which is uh, going to delete the current operating system and it's going to install the artex linux so here are the customization you can customize it on your own so if you choose the manual partitioning it's going to give you the dual bo uh, booting option or like a dual operating systems dual boot options so choose it on your own uh, you can encrypt the uh, system by providing the password in the same boxes or the two same boxes you need to type in the same password for the two boxes uh, i don't want to encrypt so i'm not going to choose it and the bootloader location you can customize it on your own i'm going to choose the default one which is a must boot record you can install the bootloader uh, afterwards it's uh, clearly up to you click on next and you need to provide your username password and uh, you can provide the username on your you don't need to provide the actual username you can provide anything you want and uh, password for this password you don't you need to write it down the password because if you forget it should be a problem so write it down the password first so for the sake of the video i'm choosing some random uh, username this is the username which will i always give in the linux distro so because i love the boxing kickboxing all those things martial arts so i'm going to choose run boxing and i'm going to choose the password which is a one two three four five you don't need to provide this type of password you need to give the strong password uh, because of uh, safety so you need to complete this thing you need to get all the tick marks right here so if you choose the required strong password you need to provide the strong password i'm not going to choose it like that login automatically without asking for the password use the same for password for the administrator account so for the administrator account you need to provide the different password or you can choose the same password i'm choosing the same password click on next here is the summary of what i chose in the previous steps of installation so these are all the available things and this is the option which will happen after clicking on install these are the things going to happen to the 
uh, installation destination so after clicking on install it's, it's going to take a maximum of uh, 20 minutes if you have a low-end pc if you have a mid-end pc or a good pc you should be uh, completed in a uh, 5 to 10 minutes it completely linux uh, depends on the resources system resources and the linux distro so after that it's going to say you to finish and reboot your uh, uh, linux distro or the system after that you should be having an uh, a linux distro installed in your uh, main pc or a work pc or a vmware whatever you are uh, choose for the installation media so that's the installation process of rtx linux so let me close this thing and always remember i am going to say it again again in the video because uh, i already said it always boot it in a live boot first uh, for two to three hours after you satisfied go with the installation for the hard disk or uh, vmware whatever you uh, choose so uh, it's a good option to uh, protect your pc because if you have any uh, major bugs it's going to ruin your pc i don't want you to ruin your pc that's the reason i'm going to say it again and again uh, even it's uh, uh, like annoying for you it's uh, i'm going to say it again because i don't want you to ruin your pc so again we covered everything i guess so let me open the internet browser and i'm going to show you how to download the rtx linux because i forgot you to show you that in the beginning of the video so these are all the uh, urls or the shortcut will open uh, when you open the web browser that's uh, pretty annoying from the rtx linux so we just need a official website that's it because uh, we don't want everything uh, open like this it kind of looks like a uh, uh, hacked uh, browser is hacked so so that's the reason you need to give the just a, a website instead of opening all these uh, urls so let's quickly remove this thing because the uh, system is uh, rtx linux so i'm going to click on the rtx linux and the search bar or the search engine for the RTX Linux is a DuckDuckDo instead of uh, Google. So let's. This is the website uh, to download the ISO file. So the news and the information will be available here, or the release notes will be available here. So I'm going to show you the download. So this is the URL, just uh, rtxlinux.org, or you can just type in RTX Linux in your search bar or a web browser. I'm using a VPN so it's taking a, a lot of time to open and uh, there is a bit of uh, delay uh, in opening the website also. So it's uh, stuck here as you can see I can't change anything. There is a, a bit of not a bit there is a lot of uh, lag and delay. I don't know what is going on here. So this is the reason I already uh, mentioned because you should be seeing uh, bugs and uh, delays so it's always a bit a good option to always boot it in a live boot first and go with the installation later after it's satisfied. So it took a lot of time to open the even download. So let's uh, screw it down. It doesn't allow me to do that. so. You should be having uh, mirrors like OSTN, SourceForge I guess. I don't properly remember because I made a video of uh, RTX Linux like uh, 10 to 15 days or uh, months before. I properly don't remember that. So this version is a bit of lag. Not a bit of lag, it's a heavy lag as you can see. I can't even uh, choose anything. So we covered everything so no need to worry. So I will be posting two videos uh, daily so without missing any day. So I already posted a video if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video. I don't think uh, we can continue this Linux distro because uh, there is a lot of uh, lag. Uh, I don't think we can uh, do anything here. Let's check out the desktop features like uh, wallpapers all these things. So these are all the wallpapers available right now. As you can see there is a preview here. So let's change the wallpaper, desktop icons, there is nothing to customize here, just a few options like a calendar, date, volume, a language and internet connection and the panel 
and as you can see the browser is working right now so these are all the desktop environments available lxt lxqt matte plasma xfc and the base version with a cinnamon open rc so you should see the version here and download so the version xfc is available plasma is also available the latest version is uh, 2023-0501 you should check the date and download the uh, desktop environment or the ISO file for the sake of the video I'm choosing the XFCE and as you can see there is a download started here so it's almost a 1.8 GB so my internet is slow because I'm using a VPN it almost uh, uh, 90% is uh, slower so let's close this thing so we covered everything I guess because there is nothing left in here so as you can see so let's open the task manager and check out how much resources are consuming the RAM is same and the CPU is also same there is nothing in it so this is a lightweight desktop environment if you choose the XFC and KDE Plasma there should be a different uh, fire, uh, RAM consumption and the CPU consumption so it completely depends on desktop environment so again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see in tomorrow's video peace out that was the sound from the linux show not from the uh, mic or anything